Hey everybody, Jeff Wilson with the Star Telegram here with Rangers General Manager John Daniels who just had the, the pleasure of meeting with the media as he does the, the first day of, of uh, camp every year. Uh, first day is actually tomorrow, but you get the idea. Uh, John, uh, my line of questioning to you kind of evolved about the preseason uh, predictions that aren't so great and how the players might have an edge to them. What, what do you think of uh, the way you guys are perceived right now and also the way the players are responding? Well, listen, I think the, the vibe out there, you know, the national writers and the experts and people that are kind of picking you at Vegas odds, whatever you want to say, they're based on the most recent information, which was us not being very good last year. You know, we finished in last place, and so I understand. I understand why that. We have a lot of questions. It's easy to say, is, is Prince healthy? Which Elvis are we going to get? 20-year-old second baseman, is uh, Adrian going to keep finding the fountain of youth and, and the health and, and some of the other you know, development questions? We feel good about it. We've been around it all winter. And so we've seen the, the results of the, the programs. We've seen these guys pass the different tests. We, we feel a lot better about our, our pitching depth, um, especially on the starting, from the starting angle. We um, feel like Robinson Torino is taking the next step. Like Leonis Martinez, Martin has that ability to take another step in his game. And so we feel good at the answers to those questions. We have a better feel for them. But I understand why you know those outside of the organization might have those questions still. Uh, you know, you've kind of mentioned Prince, Chu, uh, even Derek, maybe even you coming back from injuries, all the guys coming back from injuries. Uh, you got a hole in left field. You got uh, bullpen question marks, like you said, O'Dor being 20. Is there anything that you're particularly going to eye uh, here in camp, maybe the first week, even after the, the, the full squad is here, one thing particularly you want to look at? Well, I mean, the easy answer is, is the health of our key guys. I, th I do think we're talented for and I think we're going to have uh, a lot of energy and, and preparation from the staff, Jeff and the staff. Um, I think where we probably have the most decisions to make in my mind is the whole thing, just how that's going to come together. We had a lot of interesting guys, um, uh, guys that have had success at the upper level, some at the big league level, some, some interesting veterans coming out in non-roster deals. We're going to have a lot of calls to make there. Yeah, it seems like that's an area where there's always a, a Robbie Ross or a Mason Tobin, somebody who comes out of nowhere and makes the club. Is there, I mean, it seems like there, maybe uh, Keela's a, a, a guy who could do it. It seems like there are a lot of candidates for that. You know, I mean, a lot of times when we bring in kind of younger non-roster guys, or they're here for more of the experience than to make the team. Um, and I think that's somewhat the case with Keela. You know, I mean, we want him to get the experience, be around some older players, veteran guys, get a feel for it. Uh, but he's here in part because we think he, he has the ability to pitch for us this year. Whether that's opening day, I mean, I, you know, I think he's got to leap probably a bunch of guys to get there. But he has you know, as much natural ability as anybody in camp. Is there anyone you're curious to see that, that maybe is under the radar, like you just mentioned? You know, I, I just, some of the, uh, the, the uh, veteran guys that we brought in, uh, uh, even some of the non-roster deals, like Brian Ludwig and Nate Shearholtz, uh, Jamie Wright, I and mean, I know those guys are not the, the sexy names, Ross Ollendorf, uh, that our fans would want to hear, but you, know, you look at, at good teams uh, and the depth and the contributions that you get from some of these guys that are in their 30s, have been around the block, uh, have had success in the big leagues. They're not going to be your stars, but they can play valuable roles. Okay, well, well, we'll probably hit you up again a little later. Star Telegram breaking in the whole new video game, so <laughs> well, it's pretty you. sweet. Nice work. Again, John Daniels, Jeff Wilson, Stephen Stevenson was shooting the, shooting the video, so blame him for any shakiness. <laughs> Thanks for watching.